Dr. Vokas, I will explain anti-TB drugs, drugs used for tuberculosis treatment. Four drugs are used as first-line therapy for the treatment of tuberculosis. These drugs are rifampin, isoniazid, pyrazinamide, and ethambutol. These drugs are remembered by mnemonic RIPE, R for rifampin, I for isoniazid, P for pyrazinamide, and E for ethambutol. These drugs are used as combination therapy for the treatment of tuberculosis. When we use one or two drugs, the tuberculosis can become resistant. So we use four drugs as combination. Okay, mechanism of action of these drugs. These all drugs inhibit the cell wall synthesis and cell wall of mycobacterium tuberculosis and also uh, rifampin inhibit DNA dependent RNA polymerase. I will explain. Mycobacterium tuberculosis is a coma shaped acid fast bacilli. Okay? It don't stain gram. It is not gram positive or gram negative. It is acid fast stain. And its color is pink on uh, acid fast stain. And it uh, shows like uh, this like shape. And when we see in microscopic examination, these are very small rods. So these are called bacilli, mycobacterium tuberculosis. Mechanism of action of this drug, first of all, rifampin. Rifampin, this drug acts inside the nucleic acid of bacteria. The nucleic acid of bacteria is circular DNA strand. Circular. Normally, human nu uh, nucleic acid is linear. It consists of chromosomes. But bacterial DNA material is circular and bacteria don't contain any type of <coughs> nuclear envelope as our cells contain. So these bacterial cells are called prokaryotes and uh, human and uh, other animal cells are called eukaryotes. Rifampin, this drug inhibit, here is present one enzyme, this is called DNA dependent RNA polymerase. These are DNA strands, DNA strands and here is present one enzyme. This enzyme is called DNA dependent RNA polymerase. RNA polymerase. When this enzyme acts, it transcribes DNA into messenger RNA. And from DNA molecule, messenger RNA is produced. This process is called transcription. When from DNA, RNA molecules are produced, this process is called transcription. And rifampin drug inhibits DNA dependent RNA polymerase and bacteria cannot produce from DNA to messenger RNA. So we can see that process of transcription is inhibited. This is mechanism of action of rifampin. Next, mechanism of action of isoniazid and pyrazinamide is same. This is cell wall of mycobacterium tuberculosis. The cell wall of mycobacterium tuberculosis is made up of mycolic acid. Other all bacterial cell wall is made up of peptidoglycan molecule, but tuberculous bacterial cell wall is made up of, made up of mycolic acid. Mycolic acid is a fatty acid, fatty acid molecule. And isoniazid and pyrazinamide, these both drugs inhibit the mycolic acid synthesis and bacteria cannot synthesize its cell wall. Mycolic acid. Mycolic acid. When mycolic acid molecules are not produced, so tuberculous bacteria cannot synthesize its cell wall. And for division and for growth of uh, mycobacterium tuberculosis, cell wall is necessary. So bacteria cannot produce cell wall. The cell of uh, TB will swell and it will rupture and is destroyed. Next, mechanism affection of ethambutol. Ethambutol also acts on the surface of cell wall. But, but, in it, but this drug inhibit polymerization of glucose molecule. We can say glycopolymerization. Poly 
when uh, many uh, carbohydrate molecules are attached with each other, this uh, process is called glycopolymerization. Ethyl butyl inhibit glycopolymerization and bacteria. Uh, this uh, glycopolymer molecules are also necessary for cell wall synthesis of TB bacteria. So these are uh, also not produced and bacteria cannot synthesize cell wall. Next, clinical use. These all four, uh, four drugs are used two months, two months in combination for the treatment of TB. But after two months, isoni uh, isoniazid and rifampin. These two drugs are used for four months. Next four months. First two months, these four drugs are used in combination. Next, rifampin and isoniazid are used for four months and overall treatment will take about six months about six months pulmonary tb is most common and for pulmonary tb the treatment regimen is for six months six months six months but for example if any person has vertebral column tb or meningeal TB, then we can use these drugs from 9 to 12 months. 9 to 12 months. Okay. Clinical use of rifampin. Rifampin, this drug is used for number 1 TB, tuberculosis, tubercle bacilli. Number 2, leprosy, leprosy. And number three, this drug is also used for prophylaxis of type 1 hemophilus influenza. Hemophilus influenza type A in children. For prophylaxis of hemophilus influenza type A, prophylaxis in children, we also use rifampin. This rifampin is also used for the treatment of leprosy and treatment of TB. But these three drugs are only used for TB. Isoniazid is also used for prophylaxis of TB. But uh, parazinamide and ethambutol, these drugs are used for treatment of TB. Next, side effects of tubercle, tubercle, uh, side effect of these drugs, anti-tuberculous drugs. Number one. When we use rifampin, rifampin, the side effect of this drug is red or orange colored orange body secretions. The color of saliva, color of tears, sweat and urine become red or orange shaped. This is side effect of rifampin. Next side effect of isoniazid. INH. Side effect of isoniazid is neurotoxicity. This drug produces neurotoxicity because when we use isoniazid, it decreases absorption of vitamin B6 so that is called pyridoxin, uh, pyridoxin and also increase the loss of uh, uh, vitamin B6 from body in the urine. So this is neurotoxicity. Neurotoxicity. Next side effect of pyrazinamide pyrazinamide hyperuricemia hyperuricemia uh, this drug produce uh, increase the uric acid level inside bloodstream so this is called hyperuricemia and side effect of ethambutol is optic neuropathy optic neuropathy when this drug is used the person may complain of red and green color blindness. These are basic side effects. And these all four drugs are hepatotoxic. When, because these drugs are used from 6 to 9 months for the treatment of uh, tuberculosis. Tuberculosis can be pulmonary, cervical, uh, vertebral column TB, meningeal TB and other types like spleen and liver can be involved. And for their treatment we can use from at least from 6 months to 9 or 12 months. Okay, thank you very much.